okay, here we are. The probably the what, no dorns, no crows. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not playing a dorn or a crow, but still, that doesn't indicate the best attitude in my opinion. Um, yeah, the last game of the winter agenda. Tyrell went. Tyrell Winter closing it out for us here. So this coming week, starting tomorrow, will be Assault from the Shadows. I've prepared Assault from the Shadows decks with Lannister, Martell, and Tyrell. I think the Martell one is the most interesting by a fair margin. But the others can definitely... I mean, I don't think that it's really that great or interesting overall with Lannister or Tyrell. I don't really see that catching on. But it's, it's interesting enough, I guess. I mean, you can do some stuff. It's worth playing around with. But I'll be talking about that more tomorrow, and not today. How am I famous? I wish I would. I mean, I hope I'm famous. I don't know. Okay, the setup here, zero, one. I think I can set up six cards, right? Yeah, this is six. I don't think I'm even going to get... Yeah, I'm, I'm short on a gold, so that's pretty good, I guess. Lannister Dragon, huh? The most annoying thing that I've seen with Lannister Dragon is they do freaking Varus is in their discard pile and they play Unexpected Return and Dominance Phase. That's not that's not very fun. But we do have Flea Bottom, and since he is not Martell Wolf, I don't know if there's any way he can actually disable the Flea Bottom. Maybe he has he'll have Isle of Ravens. Got another limited, that's good. Uh, let's get the duped Marjorie out. If we reduce her by two more, she'll cost two. That leaves us with three. We definitely have stuff we can spend three gold on. Uh, definitely a scheming septon. And I guess the milk on Nymeria is more useful than the bodyguard since Marjorie already has a save. This Nymeria could be really annoying, so I'm happy to go ahead and put milk on her. The Iron Bank, that's interesting. Wow, that blows. No milk for me. Luckily, we have zero gold in reserve, so what we're going to do here is try to fully kneel our board so that we uh, do not have to discard for that Nymeria. I guess I do Intrigue this way with four. So I should be able to win it. And then he cannot win Intrigue against me back with Marjorie. But that does not fulfill our condition of kneeling out our whole board. So let's just do a power with Marjorie just so that we won't win Dominance. And hopefully he will declare an Intrigue challenge. And then I can use my Scheming Septon. If this is Martell, I fully expect him to declare Intrigue. He could even use his Plaza to do both challenges if he really wants. Yeah, there it is. So now I can do Scheming Septon. Cancelled. Okay, sure. That doesn't really bother me. I think I'm pretty happy to see that used here and not on like a Marjorie Trigger or something that actually would matter a lot more. I was going to put in the Old Town Informer to chump block, uh, get an extra card into play and guarantee the Old Town, but whatever. Darn. Well, we'll get it in Standing Phase, or Taxation, whatever. Now what? Uh, maybe False Spring? It's either False Spring or Withering Cold. I think I like False Spring. I don't really want to kneel my locations out with uh, Withering Cold just yet. Okay, Corset Viper. That is bizarre. I mean, I guess he can have a Desert Scavenger. 
Do I want to give him a Great Hall? I guess a Summer Seaport. I don't think I care about that. And Duran's Game. So there's his win condition. He has a Corset Viper and a Duran's Game. So we know what to look out for. If I end up losing to that, I don't think I can really be too upset. Corset, Viper, Duran's Game. Like, what the hell? That's kind of cool, honestly. If he pulls it off. But don't I have Valor Mergulis? Yeah, I do, so... It might be tough for him to get a big enough board and keep it without me playing Valar since I have to dupe Marjorie on turn one. Come on, dude, pick your cards. Any cards. Uh... I guess Starfall Cavalry? Sure. Those will be good whenever he has a trade routes turn, so I guess we'll get rid of them. So this looks like a Queen of Thorns. We can marshal her for three, and then we have five left, which is like Will is in a bodyguard. Seems good. Do I play Willis? Yeah, that makes sense. Man, I sure did get a good start this game. Holy balls, I've got a lot of stuff. So he'll probably do like Valar Doharis next turn, but I'm fine with that. Don't think that it's the end of the world. It's like, I'm not sure that I even want to use the Queen of Thorns ability because I'd be like over committing into a Valar Doharis. But ideally, she will be able to, or this Alary, if I put it into play, will add a, another card to my hand anyways. So it's kind of like a wash. So let's do this. I will not be surprised if he plays, he calls it thinking on the Queen of Thorns, but that's also fine if it happens. Oh, he used Nightmares. I legitimately didn't even notice him do that. Oh, well. Yeah, get that out of here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's do it this way, I guess. How am I going to guarantee not losing dominance? I guess I actually screwed up because I didn't use the Old Town Informer to attack, but she can probably defend. So let's do this. If he ends up... Uh, if I end up losing dominance, whatever, he got me. I'll eat it just this one turn. Yeah, it just does a military. I guess I kill Willis. I'm not sure that I even want to. I think I'll actually keep him around. Kill this. Use the scheming septon. And I could ambush here with my Old Town Informer, but I'm not sure that I want to because he's probably going to play a reset. So yeah, let's just not do it. Plus, I'm going to get discarded by Nymeria. Got the Illyri Tyrell. Man, that card is annoying. So now is, I guess, like Ranger's Cash into King in the North or the Withering Cold. I think I'm happy with Withering Cold this turn. There's the Doe Harris. Make him go first. I guess I keep Marjorie and Willis. That makes sense. Go ahead and use this. I'm already at 9 power. Wow. I didn't even realize how much power I was over here getting. I think I want to set up Valar Morghulis now. I think his board is big enough that it's worth it. So let's do... Hmm. Yeah, Renly, Bodyguard, and Scheming Septon. This makes sense. 
And we're doing the whole withering cold into Morghulis thing. Hopefully that, I don't know, does something. Passes his challenges. How boring. Well, if I do military with Brinley, he can actually defend it. So I think I'll do Intrigue. How about that? I think I care more about Intrigue than anything else. And then I'll just do, like, a Power with uh, Marge. That makes sense. Burning on the sand. All right, sure. Don't really care about that. I think he has to defend this or I'll get 15 power. Oh, sure. So I guess he, uh, wow, you murdered her children. So this was just like a straight up Red Viper combo deck. That's pretty nutty. Uh, what's the misclick? Okay, sure. Well, he avoided taking uh, that one. So now I can do this. And I could ambush with the Old Town Informer if I wanted, but I'm just going to play Valar Magulis, so what's the point? Discard a Great Hall for reserve. I've got basically all my Great Hall characters have been played at this point. And this is funny because I guess it like punishes him for playing around the withering cold because he just didn't do any challenges and kept his guys standing like, oh man, I'm going to avoid the withering cold and then they all just die. It's kind of funny in my opinion. Is this going to get uh, thinking? That'll be funny if it does. Mace probably? I don't have any Randall activators, so let's do Mace. The plus one gold is nice. No, he calls it thinking. Feels good, man. Too bad for him he did not save that event for a time like this. He instead chose to use it to just cancel a scheming septum that was like, that really didn't matter at all in my opinion. He does have a ton of money because he's been sitting over there with the Iron Bank, so this is a little bit scary. No gold on Ricasso, that's interesting. Maybe he gave up on the Duran's game plan. I mean, if he doesn't have Duran's game in his hand right now, he's going to have to discard his hand after this turn, so maybe he won't ever get to play it. That's true. Oh, maybe he's changing his mind and bestowing him manually. Yeah, he's trying to do it. I guess we'll sit here until he figures it out. I think it's like slash token gold and then the number. Or that works, just slash bestow. Why didn't the gold go on to him? What is going on? Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't care. He's apologizing to the famous guy. Oh, yeah, I'm so famous over here. Pretty goofy. So let's get a save. Layton Hightower seems smart. Where'd my scheming septum go? Friggin' Marjorie shuffled my deck and now I don't get my scheming septum. That sucks. That would have been good to have with uh, Layton. Do I have any Flea Bottom stuff? No. I guess I never got, like, Crown of Golden Roses. That would have been my Flea Bottom activator. So now we can put in Eleanor Tyrell. Why not? This is just a lot of stuff on my side of the board. So it's not that scary. I guess he has zero gold, so it's just plain not scary. 
There's not going to be any weird events or anything like that with zero gold on his side. His military challenge, I can just like probably literally kill Leighton and Eleanor. I do want to save the uh, dupe on Renly to be a little bit safe. And killing these two, you know, I get them. Well, I can't use Marjorie because I used her for the Morgul list. That's actually unfortunate. That kind of sucks, but he's not even going to do it. He's just going to go for Intrigue. Not sure that I agree with that. I guess we might as well defend this zero claim. Let's protect our little finger from the claim. Oh, that's right, because he gets to stand him? I don't know if that was correct. And he does two of the spears. I'm not, I really don't know if this was most efficient for him. I think he should have done a military with Dario. And just like two of the spears, Ricasso, and I probably blocked the power, but whatever. Obviously, I can't do anything. Let's get our little finger that we put on top of the deck. So that's kind of a strong comeback turn from him. He already played Valor Doharis is the problem. If he played Doharis again here, then it would be devastating. It'd be really bad if he played Doharis on me now. But he can't. It's in his use pile. So I guess I'm just going to do the King of the North. Renly is duplicated. He could have Valar Magulus, but his hand is empty and it would kill his stuff. So that actually wouldn't help him very much. Yeah, just confiscation with no attachments. So he should be dead. Game should be over here. My start was way too insane. I think that is the by far the best and most ridiculous, like powerful uh, start start to the game and just hit the ground running and play so much stuff so fast with this deck. That was really a lot of junk. Let's not waste too much time here. Uh, this is going to put in a high tower spy. Let's play Sir Horas and Littlefinger, I guess. Why not? Get another Marjorie save pass and there should be like literally nothing he can do look at my board I mean this is ridiculous even if he had done the military last turn and probably killed Leighton and Eleanor I think the five characters, five characters of cost five or more that I would have on my side would still be way too much for him to deal with. Like, what does he even do? He does have a card in Shadow. I legitimately don't know what that could be. Maybe it's Aegon. I don't think I defend this. Can he take any of my guys? Yeah, Littlefinger is an ally, so I guess I'm going to try to defend it. What lady could he stand? There's no kneeling ladies. It's weird. That it prompted me to use that ability. Stupid little finger. Why do you have to be an ally? Okay, let's get this over with. Uh, intrigue. Put a Renly on top, sure. And I could have put a Hightower Spy into play for a plus 7 on somebody with my Leighton Hightower. But I don't even need it. This is it. Let's give him the Concede. Oh no, I lost after all. He somehow made a magic comeback. Look at that. Props to this guy. I played it out. He's playing a shame people is going to see how bad I am. Oh, Lord. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, his deck was kind of cool. I mean, he had some weird stuff going on. But he never... He just really didn't get anything going. He got derped out with the... Herp Dirt, Withering Cold, Valor Magulus. He got played pretty hard by that. 
See, he kept all three of his important characters just standing and did nothing. And then, aha, Valar, gotcha. That was actually kind of a funny combo. I guess Tyrell Winter is overpowered. You can do Withering Cold into Valar Morghulis with Marjorie. It's so good, man. All right. Enough Kings of Winter. Tomorrow we start Assault from the Shadows. And after this week of Assault games, then I'll be doing some weird banner decks for the month after that. I love my weird banner decks. Got some kooky stuff cooked up.